Hi, I'm Swampy, and this is a quick demonstration of my self-sustaining shop, which includes an automatically restocking vending machine and a self-igniting furnace. Now, the idea here is relatively simple. You can buy wood, uh, charcoal, sorry, from the vending machine for wood. The wood is then filtered through the system into the furnace. The furnace is lit by this igniter, and I'll show you how that works in a moment. Uh, once the wood is cooked into charcoal, it then moves through into this storage box, and then from here it is fed back into the vending machine for additional sales. Uh, the ignition system is relatively simple. Um, the conveyors come with extra outputs, a filter pass and a filter fail output. If there is nothing to go through the conveyor, which in this instance would be wood coming from this box, it will trigger the filter fail output. And you see it's putting out one power, which I have connected to this light. This light lets me know that I have no wood left. Now, if there is wood in the box, and that which can then pass through the conveyor, it will instead trigger the filter pass line which comes into the toggle on this timer. We have the timer set to one second, and for that one second duration, it will supply power to the igniter, which will light the furnace. Uh, the reason we only have the timer set to one second is because igniters take continuous damage as long as they receive power. So if you only limit it to one second, they'll only take half a point of damage, and you'll get 500 ignitions from an igniter. So let's give you a quick demonstration of how the system works. First thing we have to do, of course, is buy some charcoal. From there, you should see the light go off and the furnace light. There we go. Everything's working as it should. That's always a bonus. The wood we just spent to buy the charcoal was in the vending machine and being filtered from here into this box. From there, it goes through the conveyor into the furnace and is being cooked into charcoal. As you see, that charcoal is then disappearing because it's moving through this conveyor into this box. And then from here, it filters back around through this conveyor, oops, into the vending machine. Let's toss that in there. And we're gonna pull this wood out, pull the wood out of here, and we should see the light comes back on, lets me know we've run out of wood again. Well, it's a relatively simple process, and you don't necessarily have to just use wood and charcoal. Um, as you'll, I'll show you in a second, you can set up a much larger scale operation. In this case, we have an entire room of furnaces, and it's the exact same principle. Except instead of just using one furnace, we are using lots uh, with a whole variety of splitters and combiners. As you see, we have the igniters on the ceiling, with the same timer system back here, except instead of just going out to a single igniter, it's going through a splitter. And hopefully, if I put wood into the box here, it will trigger all of the furnaces at once. Now let's get rid of that wood for a second. And that will cook pretty quick. And then from there, it comes down into these benches. I don't have any sulfur in them currently, but these three workbenches are producing gunpowder, which then filters into this box and splits the gunpowder two ways. Uh, it splits into this vending machine here, which is then sold for sulfur. And the other half comes into these crafting benches making high velocity rockets which are sold from this vending machine if I can get into it no don't turn it off there we go and we also have some additional charcoal for sale here so with the new updates there really are no limits to the level of automation that you can set yourself to so hopefully uh it kind of gives you some ideas, maybe a little inspiration on your own automation projects, but this was fun for me to work on, and uh, I look forward to playing around with it some more. If you have any questions or suggestions, please reach out to me. Uh, give my pages a follow, a like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I put up more content. And uh, this is Swampy signing out. Have fun, and I shall catch you later.